Number 40 is learn about history. History and philosophy are different. Here's how. Philosophy is how to live life. How other people have conceptualized our place in the universe. Meaning of life. History is what has actually happened already. And don't let reading of history take you away from the present moment. Because it's very possible that that history is happening right now. In the past, I was someone who, had, who would make fun of history. Who would think bad about history. Would think that people who study history are losers. And are not going to have jobs. But then I realized through Jordan Peterson that history is the most important subject. And Yuval Noval Harari also helped me. Yuval Noah Harari also helped me recognize this. He's the guy who wrote Sapiens, Homo Deus, other books. Awesome, awesome guy. Um, and now I take a deep, keen interest in history. So... I also urge you, learn history and learn history from different perspectives. Like, for example, uh, Martha is reading uh, War and Peace right now. And she found out that the way Napoleon is portrayed by the Russians versus the Americans is very different. Or by, by the Polish, I mean. The Polish versus the Americans. So for the Poles, Napoleon was a good guy because wait let me think about that um yeah because he helped yeah because he didn't let russia take over their land he was he was uh, looked at as a good guy but when when i grew up in america in high school and in, in, in studying history for us napoleon was a bad guy it's very interesting. The way you look at history from different perspectives will give you a really interesting learning about who you are. So you can be a patriot if you want. You can believe in war and fighting for your country and whatever. It's all good. But see the other side. What is the other side believe and remember you believe stuff because your brain is wired a certain way if your brain was wired another way you would believe that other thing so i highly recommend that as well